Now in its 28th year, the Vintage Virginia Wine Festival has grown to become one of the largest and most popular festivals for the Virginia wine industry, and is even seen by many as sort of an unofficial start to the summer wine season. So why don't we find out why? Uh, Vintage Virginia has been going on for about 28 years now, correct? Uh, that's a long time for the, any sort of festival, especially considering how few people really know that the Virginia wine industry has been around for that long. So could you tell us a little bit about how it got started? Sure. Actually, Vintage Virginia, along with this September Virginia Wine Festival, are two industry-owned wine festivals that originated with those industries, the Virginia Wine Association and the Virginia Wine Growers Association, that many years ago. So those two festivals are two of the oldest, uh, largest, longest-running festivals, and uh, the sponsor for those events is basically the Virginia wine industry. So they've, they've been around a long time and are still going strong. And for what main purpose was the festival started up? Uh, to promote Virginia wines, uh, to educate folks about Virginia wines. Uh, of course, Virginia is at this point the fifth state in the United States for wine production. So uh, for those long 28 to 34 years, it's been a, a boom. It is now a booming industry. It's been a growing industry, and it's now a booming industry. And they're trying to educate folks about that fact and turn them on to all the wonderful Virginia wines that there are now. Yeah, I believe it started with about four wineries back in the day, 28 years ago, 30 years ago. And now we're up to, uh, what, close to 100? Mm -hmm. 100 wineries in Virginia at this point. And so, well, along with that, so how has the festival grown besides just the amount of wineries that have been here? Uh, it's been an interesting phenomenon because over the years, with the growth of the wineries themselves and the wine industry generally, there are so many more wine festivals than there used to be. Um, but these two festivals are very well established and have waxed and waned over the years, but over the past um, five or six years have continued to grow and, and maintain a strong foothold in the wine festival arena. Right, and I think the importance of uh, wine festivals, there's a couple uh, levels to that. Uh, one, obviously, is is to uh, promote the Virginia wines, uh, and two, uh, a lot of these smaller wineries, they, these are their biggest sale dates of the year. So this helps their production out tremendously, uh, and it's just a great time and a great way to experience what Virginia has to offer yeah, in the way of that's wine. That's a good point. I would add that there are so many legalities to the distribution of wine that festivals are a wonderful opportunity for wineries to get their remote licenses and just come out, sell their wines to the general public in this sort of setting. Yeah, and you can basically hit about 55 plus wineries in one day rather than taking a tour to them all over the countryside. Which is always fun. Uh, so uh, with the wineries, how do you select which ones actually come here? Because there's, I believe, around 200 wineries in Virginia now. How do you whittle them down to 50 or so? Well, that's a very good point. As many as there are now, these festivals operate on a first-come, first-served basis. Uh, you know, we start the application process in February and we close it at a certain number of wineries so it doesn't get too out of control and so it doesn't get to the point where you can't see every winery while you're here over the course of the weekend. All right. Um, and along with, of course, wine, uh, food goes great with any sort of wine. And you guys do have a pretty decent selection of food. Any sort of general things about that? Selected certain foods for the festival or just general sort of festival foods? We actually actively worked with our vendors this year to say, come on guys, this is a fine wine festival and we want fine wine festival food. And we do have a good selection over there this year. We've got lobster, mac and cheese, and uh, Italian and paella. salads, paella. All the yeah. goods. And as for the entertainment, uh, of course there's a lot of live bands playing here today and various other things. Uh, how do you go along picking that? Well, you know, uh, a fun part of the festival is obviously the entertainment. Right. Uh, so, along with fine wine, we choose fine music to uh, complement the whole experience, and uh, we tend uh, to lean towards the jazz end of things. And uh, it's uh, not your uh, backyard uh, band down the road. These are uh, world-class musicians that gather here to uh, entertain the wine drinkers. Anything else you guys would like to add? I'd just like to add that this is, believe it or not, a very family-friendly wine festival. We dedicate a large space to children's activities and performers, the Virginia Marine Aquarium, lots of fun and educational and entertaining things to do for the whole family. I noticed that there's a lot of Make-A-Wish Foundation people here. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, this festival is a longtime partner with Make-A-Wish of the Mid-Atlantic, 
Um, a portion of the proceeds from the event go to support Make-A-Wish and in turn Make-A-Wish supports the festival with volunteer help. All right. Well, thank you both very much for giving me the time for a short interview. I'll let you get back to your jobs. Thank you. <laughs> Our pleasure. Thank you.